While law and punishment make sense for most people, grace doesn't make sense. But it's not supposed to make sense. Grace cannot be calculated, cannot be earned, it cannot be even rewarded for a job well done. Grace is a gift from someone who really loves us, and it's not a salary. In today's passage, we see that grace is much better than law because grace can put an end to evil at its very core. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is the law can be misused. The religious leaders brought a woman who was caught in the act of adultery to Jesus when he was teaching at the temple, but without the men. It was a trap for Jesus. They wanted him to either to break the law of Romans by inciting people to execute her, or to break the law of Moses by allowing people to free her. The sinner's Jesus became the real person on trial. While the law is supposed to protect people, but the religious leaders misuse it to judge the sinners. The second thing I've learned is there's a higher law, which is our conscience. Jesus responded calmly by writing on the ground. As they continued to question Jesus, Jesus said, He who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. But instead of passing the judgment on the woman, Jesus let the accuser and the crowd to judge themselves. They were all convicted by their own conscience and left one by one. God has placed a much powerful law than the law of Moses in the hearts of people. The third thing I've learned is grace provides and loves. After a while, Jesus was the only one that's left. He is the only one who can condemn the woman because Jesus is sinless. But Jesus did not judge her, but warned her not to live a sinful life anymore and set her free. Jesus set her a new hope and new direction in life. At the same time, Jesus took her sin upon himself and set himself to the path of Calvary where he died on her behalf and make her righteous in God's eye. And this is grace. My application today is, we're living in a sinful world, but the problem of sin cannot be solved by better education or by harsher law. It can only be resolved by the grace of God upon our life. That Jesus took the place of us all sinners by dying on the cross on our behalf and set us free. Therefore, we should never be get used to grace and be shocked and also motivated by the amazing grace of God each day. We should be humble enough to tell the world of God's amazing grace, that the law demands an amazing grace provides. My prayer today is, Lord, we are amazed by your love each day. Help us not to be used to it, but be shocked and motivated to, to preach about your grace to the people around us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.